Let's paint today Valentine's Day Rose Heart Tutorial with watercolors. Roses are very characteristic to Valentine's Day, but I wanted to make something different. Line drawing is available for download. I'm using a graphite stick, apply graphite layer to the other side of transparent paper, put it back on my original paper and transfer with outlining all the lines from the reference. After removing transparent paper I'm going over again all the outlines with mechanical pencil 0.3, each and every line. Don't rush this stage, do it accurately and also don't push too hard so that the lines are very light. For this tutorial I'm starting new watercolor set, painting out pigments writing their names and applying on the cover. All is set. We can start mixing watercolors. I will be using permanent rose, Sennelia red, pearl and maroon and pearl and violet. Starting to paint, applying clean water to first petal. Be sure that your water is clean after mixing watercolors and I will be painting each petal separately. Speeding up the tutorial. Tutorials available on my Patreon channel in full length in real time with all the explanation of the painting process. Tutorial is more than one hour long but it covers all the steps, all the techniques that I'm using to paint this rose heart. In my Patreon you can have access to more than 160 tutorials in real time and with voiceover. We also have a private Facebook group where we are a very loving community of fellow artists. Support each other and encourage. Painting this rose transparently and patiently. To achieve the very realistic and saturated result, it's all about layering many layers of transparent watercolors. Even after first and second layer, nothing quite looks like in the reference. But with patient painting and transparent watercolor mixes, we can achieve a very realistic and beautiful results.
after this heart rose looks already finished now is the time to cleaning up the edges for more accuracy and more crisp look of the petals while I'm applying color to the shadow area at the same moment I'm correcting the edges of the lighter petals right beside the shadow area I'm not outlining with dark line petals to separate one from each other I'm doing that by adding shadow to the shadow area Finishing up this tutorial, hope you learned something new and really enjoyed the process. Wishing you all the love in this beautiful day and also all year round. Thank you for watching, thank you for your support, see you in my next tutorials.